Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Mike Papa and Jules Lebon. This very beautiful chess game was played in Los Angeles in 1987. Anything important happened to you in 1987? Hmm? Something very important happened to me. I came to Australia in 1987. I even didn't speak a word of English. Since then, I learned two words. And now I speak whichever one I like. Okay, enough boasting about my speaking skills. Let's have a look at the game. Mike Papa had white pieces and he started the d4. Jules Lebon played g6. d4. Bishop to g7. Bishop to c4. c6 intending d5. Knight to c3. d5. e takes on d5. b5. Bishop to b3. b4. Very aggressive play by Le Bon. White to move. Moves like knight to e2, knight to e4 or even knight to a4 come to mind. Do you agree? Well, moving the knight comes to mind. Mike Papa played pawn takes pawn on c6 sacrificing the knight. Pawn takes knight. Black is now threatening. Queen takes on d4. White to move, perhaps. Pawn takes pawn comes to mind. Mike Papa played queen to f3, threatening queen takes on f7. Black to move. Jules Le Bon. Capture the pawn on d4. Perhaps a bit too greedy. Knight to f6 should have been considered. Taking care of the black king. We have queen takes on d4. Going for material. Queen takes on f7. Check. King to d8. Bishop to f4, c takes on b2, white to move, how would you continue? Black is threatening pawn takes rook, promoting pawn to something like queen. How would you continue if you had white pieces? Mike, Papa played rook to d1, not the best move. Better was c7 check and then queen to e6 check. We have rook to d1. Black to move and to play the obvious. Queen takes rook check. King takes queen, but now pawn is pushed and promoted to another queen. Check. King to e2. Black is back in the game. Bishop to a6. Check. King to f3. Queen to d1. Check. King to d3. Knight to f6. Black is threatening queen to g4. Check. c7. Check. Black to move. To take the pawn or to play king to c8. Jules the pawn played king to c8. Taking the pawn was an illegal move. Queen to e6 check. King to b7. Knight to f3 sacrificing the rook. Black didn't take. If queen takes rook, black queen would be in a passive position in a sharp game. So after knight to f3, we have a queen to d7, 
Rook to B1. Black to move. This is the most critical position of the game. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause the video and find the best move for black. Did you find a knight to c6? This is the move played in the game. Black had a better move. A miracle move. Bishop to b5. A miracle move which player with black pieces gonna find. One possible continuation is c takes on b8. That is why black played knight to c6. The game will continue like this. Rook takes queen. Bishop takes rook. But now, knight to h5, check. King to h4, bishop to f6, check. Knight to g5, queen to d4, check. King to h3, king takes bishop, or perhaps rook takes bishop. And black is doing well. In the game we have knight to c6, which looks like an obvious move, saving the knight. But the problem is discovered check, a deadly discovered check. Bishop to b5, a bit too late. Rook takes bishop check. King to c8, white to move. White found a brilliant way to finish the game. How would you continue? Mike Papa played rook to d5, attacking black queen and leaving white queen undefended. Queen takes queen. White to move. And to check mate in one. Check, mate. Wow. That was a very sharp game, wasn't it? And let's go back to this most critical position of the game. Black to move. How many people found the best move for black? If you did, please let us know. Because on the surface, knight to c6, looks like a better move, only on the surface. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.